Hello everyone, my name is Abnet, a power system engineer at AECOM Technical Services. The title of my presentation today is ETAB based uh, modeling and analysis of a microgrid uh, power system for a critical uh, facility. The agenda of my presentation, first uh, I will highlight the background, then the case study system, the study results, lesson learned, and finally uh, I'll conclude uh, this talk and uh, highlight the future related uh, work is extended from this uh, work. Uh, ACOM is a global design and consulting company with diverse services in the area of power and energy, water transportation, construction, building, environment, and others. It has engineering tech of records by different industrial, commercial, residential, and government uh, uh, customers. It has more than 50,000 employees. Uh, microgrid is a modern power system uh, defined as a group of interconnected loads and distributed uh, energy resources with clearly defined electrical boundary that can act as, as a, an autonomous uh, power system with like uh, grid connected uh, operation or islanded uh, operation capabilities and also even black starting capability uh, like starting the power system from scratch uh, after a, a total blackout of the power system has uh, happened. It has a lot of benefits including resiliency, stability uh, in the energy saving, in sustainability uh, and others. Uh, power system modeling is just a representation of power system uh, or electrical network uh, in the form of simulation model. And power system analysis is uh, the calculation and simulations to verify the electrical system, including its components are, collect are, are correctly specified uh, to perform and to operate as intended. And also if the system can protect very well itself in case of disturbances and uh, uh, short circuit uh, faults. Uh, the case study system is a microgrid uh, designed uh, for emission critical facility. Uh, that facility is actually a wastewater treatment plant by one of uh, our uh, clients. Uh, this microgrid consists of behind the meter PVs, uh, battery energy, energy storage system bus, and uh, combined heat and power CHP and uh, two diesel uh, generators uh, with a total microgrid capacity of four MeV. The microgrid uh, of interest operates in grid connected mode, islanded mode, and can also uh, do uh, black start and support seamless transition from different modes from grid connected to island or from island to grid connected mode. Uh, the ETAB uh, model of this uh, microgrid system aims to design and analyze connecting feeders, different feeders, and uh, parallel switch gear and to validate their rating, analyze fault currents, and also design required um, protection strategy uh, to analyze different operation performances, both in transient state, state operation modes, I mean, uh, uh, states, uh, and assess the power quality, including uh, voltage regulation, frequency regulation, and harmonics related stuff. And uh, at the end, analyze the mode switching, whether the microgrid is capable to transfer seamlessly from grid connected to island and vice versa, and also perform black start events uh, after blackout uh, has happened. So uh, for this objective, we model this microgrid by leveraging ETAB uh, version 20.6 and performing the power system studies for both grid connected and uh, island modes of operation of the microgrid. Uh, this is the ETA model of the case study uh, microgrid. As we see, this microgrid has two utility connections on the right and on the left, and it has a uh, bus here, battery, PV1, uh, PV2, uh, and PV3, 3 PV units. And the loads are here connected in this switch gear, switch gear 1A, 1B, and the switch, uh, switchboard uh, 3. These are the main loads. It has also CHP and also uh, standby generators, uh, uh, standby generators, diesel one uh, and diesel uh, two. So uh, actually, as we see the physical structure, which microgrid has two uh, switch gears on the left and on the right, which we call them SC1 and SC2, which are connected at two 
uh, utility uh, feeders. And the two switches are connected by a tie line here and by two tie transformers in order to perform power sharing uh, between the two switch gears. Uh, this is operational strategy and sequence of operation of the microgrid. So as I mentioned earlier, this microgrid has two operation modes, grid connected, that is parallel operation with the, with the utility grid and also islanded mode, which is like uh, operation without the utility grid. Uh, in case of uh, the grid connected mode, uh, so the batteries, the CHP and the three PV systems uh, operate together in order to maximize uh, renewable utilization, and also minimize the uh, fuel usage from the CHP and minimize the uh, cost of energy from the utility grid. Uh, in dialand mode, uh, these three units, both uh, CHP and the PVs operate, but if there is shortage of power, uh, so the two standby diesel generators, diesel one diesel two also operate in, in uh, uh, island mode, but they don't operate in reconnected mode. So, uh, and also during the transition mode, when the microgrid transit from uh, the grid connect mode to island mode, so the bus will take care of the uh, like frequency and the voltage uh, regulation operation, where like its operation, the bus operation changes from grid following to grid uh, forming uh, operation mode in order to uh, set up reference voltage frequency to the system. And then the system operation continues and uh, uh, the PVs and CHP, so we'll follow the bus frequency and voltage uh, and stabilize the, the system. Uh, when the system transitions from island to grid connected mode, so the bus control mode will be switched from the grid forming to grid following, then the system will uh, follow the voltage and frequency set point from uh, the utility. So uh, with this uh, sequence of operation, the system can autonomously manage uh, itself uh, in both operation modes. Uh, the study result is so in order to perform this power system study, uh, we have uh, considered several scenarios uh, created based on different loading conditions and uh, power source uh, combinations. Uh, uh, we established like nine scenarios, uh, five of them in connected mode and four of them in operation mode. For example, the scenario one is a maximum load with the utility alone and scenario two in connected mode is a maximum load. Uh, with uh, three PVs, the CHP and the bus connected. Uh, and if you see connected uh, in islander mode, for example, scenario three, this is a case where maximum load or, and uh, PV units one to three, the CHP and the bus are supplying the system. And if you see scenario nine, which is a minimum system load, like uh, let's say uh, critical loads connecting the system and uh, only one of the units, let's say diesel one is supplying those uh, minimum loads. So uh, in the next power system study results, we'll uh, show the results for all these uh, scenarios uh, based on the ETAB uh, analysis and modeling. So uh, of course, uh, we have conducted a number of uh, power system studies on this, as I mentioned in the previous slides. But for this presentation, two major power system studies, load flow and short circuit, are presented. Uh, the load flow study is performed to validate the loading amp uh, of the existing and new uh, switch gear and motor control centers MCC uh, capacities and calculate the voltage drop uh, at each pass uh, and at each line. So simulation results show that uh, we might need some uh, top position arrangements uh, at the two tight transformers connecting the two switch gears, SSC1 and S SSC2, in order to keep the uh, voltage, the bus voltage within the acceptable um, ANSI voltage standards uh, for low voltage microgrids, uh, which are like 5% uh, above and below the nominal 100% uh, voltage rating. This uh, figure shows the ETAB single line diagram SLD with power flows for scenario two, uh, uh, which is grid connected mode and uh, serving maximum uh, system load, total 1.3 MV uh, system load. And PVs, CHP and the bus are operating. As we see here, uh, the bus uh, PV uh, and the CHP are providing power to the system uh, and even uh, uh, they are exporting uh, power close to one MV at 100% power, uh, power factor to the utility, uh, which is a grid code for the at 
the record of the utility where this system is connected. Uh, we should not uh, absorb or, uh, uh, or inject excess reactive power. So it is advisable to, to you know, when, when we export the power, it should be uh, with 100% uh, power factor in order not to uh, disturb the external grid, either not consume excess reactive power or inject excess reactive power to the grid. So uh, it seems like uh, we are meeting the grid core with 100% power factor and also the micro grid is exporting excess power to the grid. This figure is a single line diagram. It has single line diagram uh, for power flow results for scenario axis, which shows the island operation with maximum system load and these uh, three generators, PV123, and the CHP and bus are operating. As you see, there is no utility grid. So the CHPs, uh, PVs and the bus are supporting the system at maximum load. So even uh, without the utility grid connected to the system, the system can provide uh, all the loads uh, in this case study uh, system. Uh, this table summarizes operating voltage for uh, the equipment broken out based on the scenarios. Uh, uh, after that, top position adjustments have been applied. Uh, as we see here, uh, there are a different uh, uh, motor control center uh, buses and the switch gear uh, buses. Uh, as we see, all, all the voltages are within the acceptable uh, limits from 95%, 100% uh, in all uh, scenarios. So the operation of the generation resources and uh, the controller has been uh, able to achieve the desired voltage regulation uh, in the system for all scenarios considered. Uh, this table, table three shows the operating currents for all the equipment connected in the system uh, for all the scenarios. So it means that so the system is operating uh, under uh, designed. So there is no operational current value which is above the designed current carrying capacity of those uh, MCC and the switch gear uh, uh, buses. Uh, the second study uh, we performed is a short circuit study. So we performed this short circuit study to determine the short circuit uh, interrupting uh, capacity of the protection devices, such as circuit breakers and fuses, and also the short circuit withstand capability of the switch gears and the motor control centers, MCs um, in this uh, wastewater treatment plant. So we evaluated all the scenarios, nine scenarios uh, for uh, three phase uh, fault current, uh, which is a potential uh, maximum current at all buses, uh, like uh, switch gear and MEC buses, generator storage terminals, tight transformers, high voltage and low voltage terminal side. So at different locations and table four shows the result obtained uh, for um, this short circuit study. Uh, so this is a short circuit study. So the takeaway from this is that, you know, uh, all uh, the fault current values are uh, less than the interrupting capacity of the circuit breakers uh, attached at each. Uh, uh, bus. Uh, so it means is that so the protection devices are capable of uh, protecting all uh, uh, kind of, um, I mean, all these uh, faults at different locations uh, in the system. Uh, lessons learned. So uh, based on this uh, analysis, we observed that it has a useful tool to model and analyze the microgrid state state and transient dynamic behaviors. Uh, there is still uh, a lot of capabilities in ETAB to explore uh, in order to perform several uh, microgrid uh, studies. Conclusion and uh, future work. So from this uh, a study uh, we have validated we have uh, validated that the role of these tight transformers connecting the two switch gears SCE1 and 2 is very significant in order to uh, enable the system energy adequacy via power sharing between the two uh, switch gears. The bus, the bus voltages are within the ANSI acceptable range. Uh, the fault current interrupting um, capacities of the protection devices uh, are higher than the maximum fault current at all fault points of each scenario. So the devices can withstand the maximum possible uh, short uh, fault current uh, happening in the system. So the water uh, treatment plant uh, considered uh, and designed can operate with and without the utility grid and can serve the maximum load both 
in Greek connected or uh, island uh, uh, operation modes. So uh, as a future work, uh, so we have shown only here the power flow and uh, short circuit study. So an extension to that, uh, so in using ETAB and uh, combined uh, interfacing ETAB with uh, PACECAD, another power system uh, software for uh, electromagnetic transient. So we'll be, uh, uh, we'll be doing uh, protection and relay coordination studies, transient dynamic analysis, uh, power quality assessment, and more switching reconnect to island and vice versa and uh, black start uh, studies. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your attention. So uh, I can accept a question and, uh, and your comments. Uh, thank you.